Now we go. And also support your head with your hand if that's comfortable. Kind of a soft bend in the knees. And we're going to start by taking the shoulder back, the top shoulder back, top hip forward. Woo! And then back to center. Two more like that. Then we're going to do a little sideline cow and cat. Arching the back and rounding the back. You can let your hips and knees move along with the shoulders. Eventually making your way back to center. And we're going to stretch the leg long, big stretch, and then exhale, draw the knee into the belly. Inhale, big stretch. Exhale, draw the knee in. One more time, big stretch. And exhale, take it in. We're going to bring the feet together. We're going to lift the top knee. And lower. Two more times. Lift and lower. One last lift. One last lower. And then we're going to do the opposite. Pick the foot up and lower. Two more. Pick the foot up and lower. So now the hip is internally rotating. Last one in and lower. Take a big side body stretch. We're going to roll over or flip over to the other side. Finding your setup on this side. And we're going to start with hip forward, shoulder back. And reset. Two more. One more. And then a few sideline cows and cats. Arching the back and rounding the back. Moving with your breath. Letting the body move. It's like a little wiggle. Do one more in each direction. Then reset back to center. I'm going to stretch the knee long, leg long. Inhale. Exhale, draw it in. Inhale, big stretch. Exhale, draw it in. One more time. Inhale, big stretch. Exhale, draw it in. And then bring those feet together, knees are bent, lift the knee, and lower. Lift, and lower, lift, last time to lower. Now we're going to reverse it, or pick the foot up, knee stays together. You can feel how your inner thigh rolls inward. Lots of hip work today. And as you finish up, take a big side body stretch and relax. We're going to head on over into a recline on our backs. And once you're there, maybe take a big full body stretch or two or any other movement that feels good. And eventually we're in a windshield wipe. Letting the knees glide side to side. Finding your rhythm in your breath.
Next time you pass through center, pause here. Let's do some cross body stretches. Take the right leg long, left arm long, big stretch. Exhale, reset to center, switch sides. Left leg, right arm, inhale, stretch. And return to center. Two more times on each side. Inhale, big cross body stretch. Exhale, reset. Inhale, big stretch. Exhale, reset. Last time, one more time on each side. Stretch and reset. Stretch and reset. Let those feet find the floor. We walk the heels back towards the booty a little bit. Pick up the hips gently, scoot them to one side. Knees fall away from the hips, find a big twist. Breath is soft and relaxed. And eventually, you're going to make your way back through center, straightening out the hips and shoulders, and then pressing down maybe into the feet to scoot your hips a little to the other side. Let the knees fall to the other side of your twist. One or two or three more breaths on this side of your twist. And then eventually make your way back to center. And let the feet walk wider than the hips and bent knees fall in towards each other. And we're going to reverse it. Bring the feet in and bent knees fall out to the sides.
then eventually bring those feet back to center. And let's take a little inversion of your choice. So you've got some options here. If you have a yoga prop handy, a blankie, a pillow, it can go under your hips. That is a great inversion in and of itself, getting the hips a little bit higher than normal. Under the low back, not just the tailbone. From here, you're welcome to take the legs up towards the air or prop them up against a piece of furniture or turn towards a wall and prop the feet up against a wall. Another option is to hold on to the inner thighs or the feet and do a little rock for happy baby. Whatever you choose, keeping the jaw soft, keeping strain out of the body, should feel comfortable and supportive, not a strain. Take a few more breaths in your inversion of choice. Eventually letting all the body find the floor. And then maybe taking a couple big full body stretches or any other movement that makes sense for you. 